What's up, riders? It's another ride home review, and we're going to be doing the retro review. It's Retro Review Tuesday. So, and uh, this week we're going to be talking about Captain Fantastic, which came out in 2015, and or excuse me, 2016, and it stars Vico Mortensen, George McKay, Samantha Eiler, and is directed and written written and directed by Matthew Ross. But before we get into all that, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and so on. Plus, subscribe on YouTube. You can catch the video version as well as like on Facebook and follow on Instagram so you keep it all in touch with me at all times. So at Ride Home Reviews on all of that. So let's talk a little bit about what this movie is. Well, first of all, uh, what is the movie about? Well, the uh, movie's about a, uh, um, I believe it's six kids, six kids that live in the Pacific Northwest with their dad and formerly their mom. And uh, so, but something tragic happens to the family and the dad who has these kids in a reclusive area of the United States and has raised them, has educated them and so on, um, has to leave the homestead to attend to a family, some, a family function. And his kids get a taste of the outside world as well as the, the dad himself has to learn how to be a dad in the, the real world. So Really interesting concept. So what did I like about this film? Right there, the concept. I really enjoyed what this story uh, entailed and how it developed over time and all the experiences that the kids uh, had to deal with that they didn't have to deal with before. Um, and it was it was fun to watch them grow, watch them try to acclimate um, and the, the cast of kids just was spectacular, absolutely spectacular. And so I thought that they, they portrayed the, the kids well, and it just liked how they talked and it, it was just interesting throughout, throughout the whole, the whole, uh, thing. And, um, I liked how they set some things up in the, as the movie went along, you're wondering, especially with one situation with the oldest, who is the son, where he was withholding some information from his dad. And I was wondering how that was going to portray and, and fall into that. And so other than that, the supporting cast, Frank Langella, Catherine Hahn, Steve Zahn, I just spectacular they just came in like in cameo appearances and were just really great um and you really felt for this family so i really liked how this story was directed um i thought that it was paced really really well and i like i said i liked how the cast how everybody came together as their character and how the flow of the movie translated from act one to the the final scenes so i really enjoyed how this film uh film really portrayed that travel and that uh situation of growth um which was almost immediate um especially through most of the movie now that's where we get to the things that i didn't like about the film number one was the ending was a little disjointed. Um, it just seemed like it should have flowed better, especially after the climax and then the final scene. I, I I just didn't, I felt like there was like, there was parts they were trying to get into and it just didn't flow. Well, like the rest of the movie flowed. It just seemed disjointed and um, incomplete. And so that was the biggest drawback because the story is wonderful and it's, it's a great story of growth and a story of, of fish out of water, 
uh, and and just right and wrong and what's it's just in family bond and authority it, it was a lot of good themes but that ending i just it just didn't grab me like i hoped it would it just didn't land it's di like i like to say it just didn't stick the landing and the other thing that bothered me about this film and this is a nitpicky part but I didn't care for the name. I didn't think the name really rel relayed to anything in in the the there was no reference to it really. There was no it just didn't I don't know. The name just didn't work. It seemed like it should have had a different title to this film. But that's a nitpicky part. All in all, this film is excellent. Um technically, creatively, just those little bits there, the ending could have been better, but the, the the journey to get from point A to point B was great and everybody performed admirably and it was just really well shot, a good mix of um, standard camera as well as handheld. And yeah, so you can catch this on Hulu. Wait, Hulu? Yeah, I think it's on Hulu um, and streaming right now. So if you have the opportunity, see it. You won't, for the most part, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, Vigo Mortensen is great and the cast is great. So, so check it out. Uh, once again, that's Captain Fantastic and I give it a yes. So other than that, don't forget to once again, subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, catch you there. And until next time, watch something cool. See you next time, everybody.